Hello everyone, and today is the 50th episode of GTT, and um, it's really amazing that I've gotten to 50 already. I mean, sure, it's been three years, but 50 is just phenomenal, especially with my recent schedule that I've only got one per month. I know that this one's kind of in the middle of the month, sorry about that, but um, this is the 50th, and I wanted to get it done, and... Unfortunately, it's the last, but I'll get more into that soon. Don't worry, um, my channel will still have tech stuff coming soon. So, enough with that, we're going to just review iOS 4.1 and the major new features. Um, mainly the new features are iTunes Ping, which you can find in the iTunes app itself. And you can see at the bottom in the middle here we have a Ping button, and we'll just tap that. Sorry for the camera shaking, I'm actually not touching the camera at all, it's actually the camera's lens, and it's only when I record on the iPod, so I don't know why. But, um, ping on the iPod touch, see look, when I move my finger it moves, that's weird. Um, sorry about that. Uh, Matt Nathanson posted about an album, Shakira did something, um, Matt Nathanson posted a song, Shakira did something, Vince started following me. Coldplay did something, so you can see it's like a social network for iTunes, and I went over it more in depth in my iTunes 10 Plus home sharing video that I posted on the second or third, which was supposed to be for the first, but I was super busy. So that is iTunes Ping. The other new feature in iTunes is TV Show Rental. So I'll tap TV Shows, and then I'll tap uh, the Rent button. I'll go to Comedies. And I'll choose Family Guy. And now I can rent. Let me just zoom in on that. I can rent it for a dollar and I can buy it for two dollars and I can preview it over there. So now you can rent straight from the iPod and iPhone and iPad. Well, not iPad yet, because they still haven't gotten 4.0. But you can uh, you can rent it, that way you don't have to pay the full two dollars, but you don't get to keep it, I suppose. I don't know. I'm not very familiar with iTunes stuff, since I don't do movies and TV shows through iTunes. So, those are the two less important features, and the most important feature in this update is Game Center. What Game Center is, it's like Open Fight or the Plus Network, but it's Apple's network. So. When you first start it, it will ask you a whole bunch of questions, and it took me a little bit because um, uh, it kept failing, so I just had to keep doing it over and over, but I finally got it signed up, and so uh, you can add me, of course, you can see up there it says Gavin Ross Camp, that's my nickname. You can also add me by email, it's gavin at gavinrosscamp.com, and uh, what this is, it's kind of, like I said, it's like Open Find or the Plus Network but it's Apple's network so you can see on this me page you have your name the friends you have how many games you have how many achievements you have um, you can update your status mine says I ate a cat in 1974 mm -hmm. and that's very true I definitely did um, the account button like an iTunes store and you can go to your friends and it's loading my friends and you can see all your friends that you've added so let's look at Vince Bognat he has 13 friends one uh, Game Center game and zero achievements and games we've played together are Enigma and so I can see how we stand on the leaderboards and neither one of us are ranked because I haven't played single player since the new update came out so I haven't done anything so then on his page, I can unfriend him or report a problem. So go back here, tap a different person. They have two friends, three games, zero achievements. So it'll show the games in common. So I can like, tap Chromag Rally, last played today. And I can see our stats. And then I can go and tap Flight Control, last played today, and see the stats there. So if you want to play straight out of Game Center, you just tap the play button and it will take you to the app, which we're going to do in a minute. Um, the requests button, it shows you your new friend requests, and it will, when someone requests to be your friend, it's really fun, because it goes, ba-ba-da-ba-ba-da, -ba 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 -da, and it scared me the first time, 
and I've gotten used to it, but I'm always scared this is going to happen when I'm like in a quiet area like school. So that's not cool, but oh well. So to add a friend, you just tap the plus button, type in their email or Game Center username, and type a message and hit send. I'm not going to do that right now because we're going to go to games, and we're going to choose a game to play against someone, so we're going to tap Enigma and uh, play. So we'll actually switch over to the Enigma app. And then in Enigma, you just tap play game, multiplayer, and then it'll come up with this thing, and you can choose to invite a friend or auto match. So if I hit play now, it would just match me up with someone else in the world that's wanting to play. But I'm going to invite a friend, so I'm going to invite Vince Bognat, and I'm going to hit next want to play Enigma smiley face with tongue sticking up with tongue sticking out there we go so let's send and now on his iPhone it will go ba ba da ba ba da and it'll be like Gavin Rosscamp wants to play Enigma um, so he's going to accept this in a few seconds and we'll be able to play so here it is he just connected it says connecting and it takes a little bit there we go he's ready so we'll hit play now and it will wait for him to connect and then so now in Enigma to win complete the puzzle before any of your opponents this looks like it'll be a really easy puzzle so um, you just have to complete it as fast as you can before the other person does so Not fabulous at this game, by the way. There's that. And it looks like I'm gonna win, because you see down there, I got to 40 before he did. So I won! So it just flashes you win, and if I tap it, it'll take me back to the main menu. So, um, now Vince is going to send a request. So, um, we're going to wait for that request. We can even just close Enigma, and let's say we're going to go check out our stocks while we wait. So, Apple's doing good. Check the weather, do whatever we want to. Oh, invitation from Vidsbog not to play Enigma. Want to play Enigma? You can decline or accept. I don't know if you heard, but it went da-da-da-da-da-da. So I'll just hit accept, and it will load Enigma. And I'll just tap. And there it is. Waiting for Vince Bognot to start the game. So I'm connecting to him right now. And now it says we're both ready. And so once he hits play game, it'll take us to the next screen. So here we are. And then we'll do it again. So we'll see who wins this time. To win, complete this puzzle for any of your opponents. You can play a uh, three player on this I believe. I haven't done it yet because I haven't really had time but apparently you can do three player and that means that you just have to do it before uh, either one of the other people got it done. So let me just try to get this. No. No! Okay. Uh, okay, let me try this. No, nope, that's not gonna work. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry that this video is long, but it takes some time to do this one. Okay. Now I need one to go up there. Whoops. Okay, so they're going in there. Now we'll try sending these through here. And we'll just put that there. There we go. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna win again. Yes, I won. 
So, that is how Game Center works, and uh, since it's only like the first few days of Game Center being out, I only have three little um, games that are Game Center compatible, but I'm sure that more developers, as time goes on, will be able to uh, implement Game Center multiplayer. And I know that Chromag Rally, which is also made by Pangea Software, um, it has multiplayer, and the racing is pretty amazing with multiplayer. I think you can go up to four people, so that's really fun. And then uh, I know that Flight Control is, but it's only for high scores, so that's kind of a bummer, but oh well. So, um, yeah, if you want to be able to get Game Center and uh, TV show rentals and iTunes Ping on your iPod or iPod or iPhone, iPod Touch or iPhone, then you just need to plug it into your computer, load up iTunes, click on your iPod, and check for updates, and you should be able to download it and install it. So thanks for watching this 50th and final episode of GTT, and yes, there is more coming, so don't, um, uh, bleh, don't unsubscribe just because GTT is over, because there's something else coming, but I'm going to keep it a secret until I officially want to announce it. So, thanks for watching this, and I will see you next time.